So, way to alumnus. Welcome to this video lesson on chapter 33, uh, Capitulum Tricasumum Tertium. And we are starting at section 3 today. Media nocte in castra nuntiatum est, at the middle of the night or in, at midnight, uh, in the camp or into the camp, it was announced that. Magnum hostium numerum nauiculis ratibusque copolatis flumen transisse, that a great number of the enemies, hostium, genitive plural, uh, had crossed, transisse, the river, flumen, in little boats and uh, rafts joined together. Notice copolare is a synonym for coniungare, and here is a raft, and you can see how they're joined together here. They're tied together. Celereterque secundum flumen adversus castra nostra progredi, and that they were progressing or advancing quickly along the river towards our camp. Hoc nuntio alato, with this message brought or reported, that is, with this message brought or reported to the camp, milite statim convocati sunt. These soldiers immediately were called together. Qui cum arma capisent, who, when they had taken up arms, all right, and the qui, of course, is referring back to the milites, the soldiers, who, when they had taken up arms, we in English would probably just say when these or when they had taken up arms, et walum ascendescent, and they had climbed up on the rampart, or you could just say had ascended the rampart. Notice capiscent and ascendescent are the pluperfect subjunctive, which is new in this chapter. Primo mirabantur, at first they wondered, Quam obrem, on account of what thing? Media nocte e somno excitati ascent. They had been um, woken up, this is the pluperfect passive subjunctive, from sleep in the middle of the night. Cum extra walum omnia tranquilla esse widerintur. When outside of the rampart, or the, the um, fence, all things seemed to be tranquil or calm. Ego quoque dubitare quiperam, I also had begun to doubt or wonder, in other words, not be sure. Num nuntius verum dixisit, whether the messenger had said the truth. Cum subito, Paolo ante lucem, when suddenly, a little bit before the light, that is before first dawn, first light. Magnus numerus Germanorum, a great number of Germans, e silvis proximis, excurrens, running out of the closest forests, Castra Nostra apugnavit, attacked our camp. Nostri, our guys, and this would be the soldiers. Romans often refer to their soldiers as our guys. It's, um, it's a kind of a patriotic thing, I think. Uh, you don't see this in Greek historians or Greek writers so much, but in Latin all the time. So our guys, he said, cum pirati ascent, when they had been prepared. Notice another one of these pluperfect subjunctives with ascent and then the fourth principal part. Our guys, when they had been prepared, ad castra defendenda, to defend the camp, nice gerundive phrase, illum primum impetum facile sostenerum, sestinuerunt, okay? They sustained or withstood um, the first attack or that first attack easily. Nec damen, nor nevertheless, hostes castra opugnare dististerunt. Uh, nor nevertheless did the enemies desist or stop attacking the camp. Said alii ex aliis partibus, but some from one part, some from another. Literally, this means others from other parts, some from some parts. Um, when the, the problem is in Latin, you can't say one, one another, each other. Um, this kind of distributive adjectives or distributive pronouns that we use in English don't exist in Latin. So 
Um, this is how they say it. But essentially this means one from one place and, or one side and one from another side. As if we have alius ex alia parte, alius ex alia parte, right? As if we have two phrases separately. Uh, one from one part or side and another from another part or side. Okay? So, but some from some places and some from other places. Etiam etiamque. Ne, even now and now, so that is over and over again, sub walum procurerunt, ran forth under the rampart. Okay, so this is the Germans running up from all sides. Cum complures horas ita fortissime a nostris ab hostibus constanter ac non timide pugnatum eset. All right, when it had been fought pugnatum eset, that, again, is a pluperfect subjunctive. Notice the S set and the fourth principal part of pugno, pugnare. Uh, when it had been fought for several hours, complores horas, so very bravely by our men, steadily by the enemy, and not fearfully, okay? So very bravely by our men, and steadily and not fearfully by the enemy, it had been fought. Now, in English, we would not do this passive. We would just say, when our guys had fought so very bravely, and the enemy had fought steadily and not fearfully, right? We would put it in the active in English. But in Latin, this kind of impersonal passive is fairly common. Um, Julius Caesar uses this expression, it had been fought or it was fought quite frequently. Equitatus noster, our cavalry, Repente porta dextra erumpens, suddenly breaking forth, bursting forth from the right hand gate, impetum in latus hostium apertum fecit, made, perfect tense of facio, an attack on the side of the open side, rather, of the enemy. Okay, so latus is a neuter noun, thus apertum is going with that. Palo post, a little bit later. Cum plerique hostes, when pretty much all the enemy, or most of the enemy, se ad equites convertissent, had turned themselves to, towards the cavalry. Pedites nostri, porta sinistra e repue, e rupere, <laughs> e ruperunt, e ruperunt, good. Our foot soldiers, nostri pedites, burst forth, from the left hand gate. Okay, so once the enemy did come to the cavalry who'd come out the right gate, then they sent out their infantry from the left gate. Hostes, uh, hoc, re portabati, the enemy, right here, the enemy disturbed by this thing, hoc re, hoc re is in the ablative, thus by. Cum iam longa pugna fatigati ascent. Here's another of these pluperfect pass, passive subjunctives. Since they now had been tired out, fatigati ascent, by long battle. Impetum Romanorum ab utraque parte venientium diutus sustenere non potuerunt. Um, they were not able to sustain, to withstand the attack of the Romans coming, notice Winientium participle is agreeing with Romanorum, they're both genitive plural, uh, attack of the Romans coming from each side. Okay, so you got the cavalry coming out, uh, I think it was the right gate, and the infantry coming out the left. And then we just need the one more word, diutus, any longer. So they were not able to sustain the attack of the Romans coming from each side longer. Ac post brevim pugnam, and after a short fight, terga verterunt, they turned their backs. Now that is an idiom to say they turned tail, they ran away, they fled, right? Cum ad ripam fluminis fugientes pervenisent, when they had arrived, pervenisent, another of those pluperfect subjunctives, when they had arrived, uh, fleeing to the bank of the river, we, we might change the word order in English and say, when fleeing, they had arrived at the bank of the river. Alei naviculis ratibusque se servaverunt. Some of them 
saved themselves with boats and with rafts. That is to say, they jumped on the boats and rafts and got to the other side. Alei, others of them, armis objectis, with their arms thrown away. Okay, objectis comes from objicio, to throw away from you. So, with their arms thrown away, that means with their, maybe their shields, their swords, their spears thrown down. Influmen se pro yakerunt, they threw themselves forward. So notice the yek root for throw, the pro for forward, and then threw themselves forward. In flumen, into the river. Okay, so some of them got to the boats and the rafts and they used those to save themselves. Others, they just tossed their, their shields and their swords down and they just jumped in the river, probably trying to swim to the other side. Ut natando ad ripam ulteriorem pervenirent. In order that, so this is going to be a purpose clause, they might reach the other or the further bank, right? Might arrive at the further bank by swimming. This is a gerund in the ablative. Reliqui omnes, all the rest of them, ab equitibus, qui ad eos persequendos misirant, in ripa citeriore caesi alt capti sunt. So that all the rest of them were either slain cut down, Kaisi, or captured on the closer bank. Remember, ulterior is further, kitior is closer or nearer. On the closer bank, by the cavalry, and here we mean the Roman cavalry, who had been sent, pluperfect indicative, to pursue them. Nice gerundive phrase. Tanda ibicaides hostium facta est, ut mimenese hoream. So big, so great, uh, a slaughter of the enemy was made, facta est, there, that is on the bank of the river, that I shudder to remember it. I am horrified to, to think of it, to, to remember the event. It was awful. Duo ferri milia hominum. Magnamque armorum copiam, hostes eo prolio amiserunt. Um, about 2,000 of people and a great supply of arms and armor, armorum, the enemy lost in that battle. E nostris haud multi desiderantur. Uh, out of our men, by no means many are missed, are, you know, lacking, that is to say, lost in this battle. Ipse sagita in brachio laivo honoratus sum. I, myself, ipse, have been wounded, vulneratus sum, that's a perfect passive, in my left arm, laivus is a synonym for sinister, by an arrow. Sed vulnus meum lewe est, but my wound is light. It's not a bad one. Multi grauiora vulnera acceperunt. Many received or accepted more grave or more severe wounds. Nequero ulus miles legionarios atergo vulneratus est. Nor indeed was any legionary soldier wounded from the back. That is from behind, we would say. Uh, what he's trying to point out here in the letter is that none of the Roman soldiers uh, deserted their duty. None of them turned tail and ran. They were all brave and fought, you know, uh, so they never turned around. Plarique, the majority, altem, milites nostri, uh, however, the majority of our soldiers, ex tanto prolio, in colume sunt, are unharmed or safe in columes from or after so great a battle. Okay, so most of them didn't even get wounded, which is nice. Hoc pro leo facto, this battle having been made, that is, after it had occurred, this is all an ablative absolute phrase, with this battle having been made, or after this battle having been, uh, having occurred, we might say, dux victor, the general, as victor, cum a militibus imperator salutatus esset, 
when he had been greeted, another pluperfect passive subjunctive, by the soldiers as imperator. And this was a custom, custom of Roman troops. Uh, your dukes, your general, once he had had a successful battle, the, the soldiers themselves would cry out, Imperator! Imperator! So they would essentially proclaim their dukes as Imperator, which is a, you could translate it as commander if you want to, but it's, a, it's an even more honored title than just dukes for a general. So when he had been greeted uh, by the soldiers as Imperator, where to Tim Nostrom Ladawit, he praised our courage. And of course he says our because uh, Aemilius is including himself in this. He was one of the soldiers. Quod contra hostes numero superiores fortissime pugna visemus, because we had fought, another pluperfect subjunctive, very bravely, most bravely, against enemies that were superior in number. Okay, so there were more Germans than Romans, but the Romans still won. Tot hominibus uno prolio amicis, that with so many people lost in one battle, hostes brevi arma positurus esse dixit. He said that the enemy would soon, brevi is short for brevi tempore in a short time, uh, put down their arms. And notice, Posituris essay is a future infinitive. See the U-R in there. So, would put down their arms soon, in a short time. He swerbis, maximo gaudio, affecti sumus. By these words, we were affected with the greatest joy. Maximo gaudio. Nam pos longum bellum, omnes pacim desideramus. For after a long war, all of us, we all, desire, notice the mus ending, that's where I'm getting the we from, we all desire peace. Hodie, today, legati a germanis misi, legates or ambassadors sent from the Germans, by the Germans, ad castra venerunt, came to the camp, ut cum imperatore colocorentur, in order that they might speak together with the imperator, the commander. Nescio an, I don't know whether legati pacem petitum venerant, whether the legates or ambassadors came to seek peace. Notice the supine here, made from the fourth principal part. Said certoscio, but I know for sure. Imperatorem nostrum, our commander, cum hoste armato colloqui noli, is not willing to speak together with an armed enemy. Now this phrase about speaking with an armed enemy, um, that's again an allusion to Caesar, and Caesar says several times that it's not uh, something that a Roman does. Romans don't speak with armed enemies. If an enemy wants to speak with the Romans, they better put down their arms and have, you know, a peaceful conversation, okay? It's not going to be right in the middle of a, a battle or something. All right, well, I'm going to stop there at 151, and we'll pick up and finish 152 through the end of the story in another video lesson. I hope you learned a good bit of things here, uh, got used to these um, new pluperfect subjunctives, um, which we see with either the um, third part plus the isse, so something like akepissim, akepisses, or in these two word forms like here, salutatus esit, where we have the fourth principal part, and then we have a form of SMSAS is set. Uh, here's one of those active pluperfect subjunctives. So here's a passive pluperfect subjunctive, two word form, second word SMSAS is set. The active pluperfect subjunctives have uh, the stem from the third part, which would this, this word would be pugnawi, and then you have the isse plus the ending. Well, later, omnes. Goodbye till next time.